Hello everybody, this is Amy. With the chilly weather setting in, a lot of us are getting ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so today, the Local Leaders Video Media team is bringing you the perfect DIY ideas at this time of the year. Today, me, Amy, and Anisha are making some easy homemade decorations from materials right at home. All of the materials we're using are super accessible, from stray pine cones on the sidewalk to extra scraps of construction paper. Now let's get into some of these festive DIYs. You will need some pine cones from the sidewalk, a brush, some string, a pair of scissors, some paints, any color that you like, a container with water to clean your brushes, and a hot glue gun. And what I did is just to dabble some paint on the outer edges of the pine cones. And because I'm thinking of hanging this up on my Christmas tree, I'm going to cut some string and make a knot or two around the top of the pine cone. And now I'm painting more pine cones. It's such a soothing process. It makes me feel so festive and really ready for the winter. I also have this colorful skein of yarn, which I thought might work well wrapped around the pine cones. Even a plain pine cone looks great. If you want to make sure the string is attached, then you may apply some hot glue to the top. Ta-da! Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you how to make a fall leaf garland and I'm just going to show you what materials you'll need. So what you need is some leaves. I just had an assortment of yellow, orange, and red leaves along with some yarn. You can also use string or twine if you have them. Just use whatever you have available and you also need a hot glue gun. And just a little warning, it's going to be a little dangerous because of the hot glue gun so be careful. You can also just use regular glue. I never tried it but I'm pretty sure it would work. It's just going to be a little bit more trickier to use so be warned. Let's hop into this DIY. So your next step is to just pick out the leaves that you want. So what I did is picked some darker leaves and then did an alternating pattern of dark and yellow and dark and yellow and so on and so forth. And I layered some of them because I wanted to give it more texture. And that's what I'm showing you right now that you can layer them. But you also just want to leave a little bit of room at both ends of the string because you're going to hang it up. So your next step is to just take the leaves that you have layered and put a little dot of hot glue in between them and kind of put them together so they won't fall apart and they shouldn't because it's glue joining them together and after that you should start to put the leaves onto the yarn. You want to be careful because it's hot glue, the word hot is literally in the name. So after you do that, all you want to do is attach the rest of the leaves. I added a little bit more because it looked a little empty, so you can choose to do that too, as you wish. And what I'm showing you right now is kind of the back side of a leaf. And what you want to do is add some glue on the back side of the leaf in order to secure the leaf on the yarn. Because if you don't do that, it might fall off, so be a little cautious if you don't decide to do this step. 
officially done now you have some of these leaves and a nice leaf garland perfect for the fall so what i did is added some gems onto it because it looked a little empty to me and i wanted a little bit of sparkles in it so that's what i did you can add whatever you have or whatever you want so here's the final product i just hung it up on my wall to kind of show you guys how it would eventually look like i think it's so cute and great for the fall i just hung it up with some tape but i'm sure you guys can do better than that this was a great way to make decorations without having to spend money on decorations you'll eventually just throw away. And at Local Leaders, we stand for sustainability and be eco-friendly. So this DIY with some things that were just laying around was a great way to make decorations. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and had fun making it. For this project, you will need five simple materials, a hot glue gun, a few pieces of construction paper, preferably green, a pair of scissors, the outer rings of a mason jar, and holiday ribbon. To start off, we're going to take our scissors and cut off a few strips from our construction paper. Then we're going to cut it into smaller pieces, like squares and rectangles. After we cut out these squares and rectangles, we're going to crumple them individually. Repeat this process multiple times until you have a sufficient amount of crumpled squares and rectangles. The next part is to take these crumpled pieces and start applying them on the outer mason jar ring with hot glue. Apply the crumpled pieces on both the top view, the outer view, and the inner view of the mason jar ring. As you're wrapping up, make sure to cover any areas where the ring is still showing. Finally, we're going to make our ornament hanger. For this, we're going to use a holiday ribbon. We're going to start off by cutting out a relatively long piece of ribbon for a start. Then we're going to tie a bow in the middle of the ribbon. This is for the decoration at the top of our wreath. Lastly, to make our ornament hanger, we're going to cut out another piece of ribbon. We are going to glue this piece to the middle of the bow that we just tied. And finally, we're going to take the two ends of the ribbon and tie it at the very top. And last but not least, we're going to take our ornament hanger that we just made and we're going to hot glue the center of the ribbon that we just tied to our wreath. And that's how you make an easy homemade wreath ornament out of a mason jar ring.